Okay, so here we are back again. Just got in the car, about to go to the gym. I got my bottled crack in my hand right here. We love crack. Yeah, baby. I think I talked about this a little before, but I take pre-workout before going to the gym. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit low energy and need that extra pep in my step. So yeah, if you're ever looking to feel like a crackhead without all the hassle of doing crack, C4, your stuff. So I figured while I'm all geared up and ready to go, hit that pump. Ew. It'd be a good time to talk about the gym in general because, you know, going to the gym in a small town as a gay person, which I am and I live in a small town, there's a very distinct contrast between going to the gym here as opposed to when I was going to the gym while I was living in LA. Here's the real tea. Ooh, about going to the gym here in a small, rural-ish town. It's like, you know some of those guys in the gym have to be gay, right? But it's like, which are gay and which are just like stylish rednecks? I think eye contact is like a big way of determining it, but even so, it's kind of hard to figure out like, is this guy staring at me because he's admiring my male physique totally platonically? Or is it because he wants to put his penis the world may never know. Anyway, what's funny is the complete opposite was the reality in LA. I used to go to Gold's Gym right in the middle of Hollywood and 95% of the guys there were gay. And how did I know? Because you can see their faces in the grids of your various dating apps. It's stressful, honestly, if you're an e-dater. You know, being gay sometimes can be a fully immersive experience, especially when you're living in like a very gay city like LA. I mean, you really don't get a break from being gay. Like the gym is definitely another place where you experience all that weird flighty eye contact subtle flirting and touching unfortunately too although i gotta say one really cool thing when i first started going to that gym was like all of the porn stars that i saw and recognized and i'm not talking currently like right now i don't watch that much porn i'm talking about when i was like 14 years old i was like legit starstruck at all of the porn stars at the gym that i used to jerk off to when i was a teenager i had a real mental block there i'm like do i go up to this person that's literally doing tricep extensions across from me and tell them like hey man you played a significant role in my adolescent ejaculation so thank you oh man could you imagine how uncomfortable that would make somebody it'd actually probably be worse it just for that i remember there was a guy <clears throat> jesus christ i remember there was a guy who went to my gym who i had talked to on scruff a few times and never had like met you know typical gay bullshit chatting back and forth and neither person actually makes like a motion to meet up in person i saw this guy at the gym and even though we had never met i recognized him from the app and so i kind of like stared him down when i was running on the treadmill and he passed by me and looked up at me and i kind of like did like a head nod and then he returned it so i was like all right this might be a thing. At some point I was on some machine that faced a mirror and I could see him in the mirror reflection. And when he looked up into the mirror, I stared at him again and like a really intense like sex stare. Like, I don't know, I'll try to replicate it now though it probably isn't gonna, anyway. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me try again. I can't. Anyway, just believe that he was seduced. And he came up to me and we had a really flirty conversation and we exchanged phone numbers and then he ghosted me. Which you know, fuck it. That's like so typical nowadays. It's just part, anyway, I'm not, that's like a whole nother path of discussion that I'm not going to follow. So like a few months later, I ran into him at the gym again and he was entering the gym as I was leaving and I nodded to him as I was leaving and he followed me back out of the gym pretending like he forgot something in his car, which he didn't because I was paying attention to see if he grabbed anything out of that damn car. Walked and talked with me back to the parking lot and then we exchanged numbers again and then bitch fucking ghosted me again. And if that is not a perfect illustration of what dating in the gay community is like, I don't know what is. Somebody just pulled up in their car and is like staring at me now. This is awkward. I'm gonna go and continue this story somewhere else okay now i've relocated that was really <laughs> uncomfortable somebody pulled their car up to be facing mine and was just like staring at me as i was recording so where was i i don't remember anyway we'll just talk about the steam room now i was an active user of the steam room and no you pervs not in the way that i'm sure a lot of you are anticipating i'm going to talk about in a very innocent way the way the steam room was set up at this gym in la was it was like all glass walls so you couldn't see if, or you could see rather if anything weird was going on right and i remember one day there was a guy very eccentric character at the gym who was wearing these like he was wearing a speedo bathing suit inside the changing room and the ass part of it just said bottom 
across the bottom of it. So I think we can all assume what his preferred sexual position is. And he went into the steam room and was like putting himself on display, standing up and like doing a twirl and looking outside of the glass, trying to make eye contact with people and like lure them into his booty trap, I suppose. And I am never more astounded than when I'm analyzing the behavior of horny gay men. It felt like a mating ritual. Like you ever see those National Geographic shows, Planet Earth stuff, like the birds spreading their colorful plumes to attract a mate. It was like this guy spreading his ass cheeks to attract a mate. It was weird, man. Anyway, that was also really stressful. Like having to go into the changing room just in general and being surrounded by all these naked gay men. A lot of them very attractive as well. I didn't like know where to put my eyes. It's too much for me. You know, <laughs> I hope this was enough footage to edit into a video. As you can see, there are very defined bags under my eyes. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, give it a goddamn thumbs up anyway. And leave me a comment about your locker room experiences and just weird shit that you feel people do at the gym in general. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. And um, until next time.